Mina, Konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with my friend Weirdo McFuckCheese. Yes. And... And... Time more and show. more shit. Oh, boy. More and more shit. So... The ba I'm just gonna read the basics here. Oh, there's a... Um, there's a guy here. It says, uh... Writing a century past, many scientists felt compelled to wax poetic about cosmic mysteries and God's handiwork. Perhaps one should not be surprised by this. Most scientists back then, as well as a lot of scientists today, identify themselves as spiritually devout. But a careful read of older texts, particularly with those concerned with the universe itself, shows that the authors invoke divinity only when they reach the boundaries of their own standard. They appeal to a higher power only when staring into the ocean of their own ignorance. They call on God only from the lonely and precarious edge of incomprehension. Where they feel certain about their explanations, however, God gets hardly mentioned. Let's start at the top. Isaac Newton was one of the greatest intellects the world has ever seen. His laws of motion and universal laws of, gra of gravitation, conceived in the mid-17th century, account for cosmic phenomena that had eluded philosophers for millennia. Though through those laws, one can understand the gravitational action of the blah 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 blah, Newton was good at gravity. However, when he came to a point where his... Oh shit. Oh fuck. When it came to a, I'm just gonna summarize the rest of it. When it came to a point where Newton's calculations could not figure out anything else, he said, "Well, maybe this is where God steps in. Maybe this is where He takes things over." You know. And then as time progressed, we gained more understanding. We were able to expand on the things that He did, and yeah. we got answers to those questions. That things like that is why I don't take the whole miraculous healing thing with very much validity. Just because we don't understand something doesn't mean we'll never understand it. You know. Um, and, and when I can't come up with an answer, my response isn't immediately, oh, well, it must be something supernatural then. My response is, all right, well, Wait, what the, whoa, 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 what the fuck was that? This whole area is petrification, because fuck, that you're done. That's, oh. all, that's all they have. Holy oh, dude. There are, there are so many of these dumb things here. It's all the items. You just walk in the fog door. It's like, can I make it? It would, that... Oh! Just go in! Oh! Just go in! And prepare to hate your life. Gr afflicted Grave Robber, Ancient Soldier Varg, and Sarah the Old Explorer. Whoa! Hi, Havel! What? What the fuck? Seriously, what the fuck was that? Power stands Katanas. So, what I do is I summon the two, and then I just book it to the boss door. They don't stop to fight the enemies. If you book it to the boss door, they'll come in right after you. Okay. So I always just summon them and just run. Just, <laughs> just fucking book it. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Holy hell. Yeah, it's crazy. I told you this boss fight's bullshit. Boss fight's total bullshit. Yeah, you don't even like it because of the challenge. You're just like, nope. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's a fucking gang squad. It's just a big PvP match. It's just so summon rapacious Andre. And don't even. I'm not even gonna wait for him to be fully summoned. I'm just gonna go. just run. Good. That's what you should do. Just fucking book it. Ignore everything. Jump in the first hole you see. Hubbish. And now to the left. Left. No, 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 you were facing the right direction. Damn it. You just need to go to the left. That's the wrong direction. Alright, so you drop down, and you saw two things. You saw a path, a line of the statue, and another path. D you've lost me already. Dude. Okay, when you drop down the hole, this th like, at this point, you're just dealing with lines. When you drop down the hole, there's a path. A line of the st statues that shoot shit at you. And another path. Go down this path. Okay. Like, so you're gonna wanna drop down, go around the statues, and just run. Drop down. The thing is, there are a lot of statues, and there are a lot of paths. Yep. That's why I'm like, that really doesn't help me. Yes. Yes. You see it. You see a path. I see 
several right, so pads. I see several pads. All right, so turn around. Several pads. All right, it's left. I'll go around that wall. That way. All right, now you can chill here for. Oh, okay. Oh uh, wait. Is it, you can chill here for a second, wait for petrification to go down. Those guys are taking a little bit of a beating. No, they're right behind oh. you. Oh! They're close right behind you. Alright, now go. Just, like I said, just run to the wall store. Ignore everything. Oh. I have the stamina to... Do it! Good gosh. Yep. Water down there. So have a once a piece of this. Holy hell! Um, no, I'd rather not go in the water. Backstab. You can't backstab him? No, you can. You just have to be quick about it. God damn. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Boss fight's hard. Real hard. Guys, this is. I don't know what to edit out and what not to. No, there, fuck it. There is no editing. There's no editing. There's gonna be a lot of death. I have a feeling. For quite. Yeah, it's hard. I literally can't. No, I'm not gonna go through 80 human effigies here. I'm not gonna go through 80. Fuck that. I am not gonna die that many times here. If you do end up dying a lot, what we could do mm -hmm. is do the other two DLCs and get all the crowns. Yeah, then I don't need human effigies anymore. If you want to do that. If this poses that big of a problem. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, actually, the, how do you... The best thing... Don't tell me how, but there's a way to cheese this. I am missing something very big. Um... There is a way to cheese it. There is a way to cheese it that I've never pulled off. Um, and it's one that your character cannot do. Um, the only way to cheese this that I've seen, well, you can look it up. The only way to cheese this is a way to bug out of the area onto a ledge that you're not supposed to be on and shoot poison mist into the game world. That's the only way I've seen to cheese this. Um, so this is actually supposed to be a, a legitimate, straight up fight? Gang squad. So Ornstein and Smo, fuck them. So, alright, so now immediately just run that way. No, 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 turn around. That way. Okay. It was right fucking there. Petrification's low. Yeah, just book it. Just Go. book it. Go. Oh. oh fuck. Move. Can he start hitting his own ally? Move. There you go. Yep, no, we'll be in a second. Okay. Yeah, I beat this by fishing for backstabs. Because you can backstab all of them. It's just not easy. It is bet they are backstabable. Yes. Oh, he's shooting great arrows. See, I always thought to go for this one first, and every time I didn't, it didn't work out for me. I think you both did it. You can't break them out of their hits either. What? Oh, there are statues in here too. There are statues in this back part. This is the only part that has it. Fuck this. Also, no, if you fall off, you don't die. You go, you go down into like a little water area. Wait, there's another one? No, that's ruined Althea. Yeah, the order I killed them in was. Ha I, I've, I always ignore that. Like, I've decided to ignore that archer. Because, I mean, if they hit, if he hits you, yeah, it's a problem, but I've never been hit by him. Like that. That's how you do it. That 
Rex is correct. So you you ha you wait for him to get focused on the other dude, and then you go up and backstab. And normally you're moving so much the arc. That's how that works. And then once one of these guys is dead, then oh, oh! I say if they hit you, it hurts, but it's rare. They hit you. Okay. As it happens twice in a row. Well, you were standing still the last time you were there. And now you're in And he's dead. Oh, the other dude got hit. <laughs> You must have just punched him into a wall. Now I'd run around the corner. Yeah. Oh no, again. Oh, the one does heal for a lot. Yes, it does. I love my plus five. See, now you figured out how to do this. Like, this is just a dumb fight. Uh, oh, I, he ran away. Its difficulty is artificial. Its difficulty is to find three things at once. I don't know how the fuck you're meant to do this without NPCs. So you've never done this solo? No. Oh, he was trying to ask this up. How cute. Okay. And now it's just the archer. And at this point, the archer. The worst thing the archer can do is back up into that petrification area. Uh, we, you know what? You focus on those guys. I'm not gonna. No, see, this one actually will focus on you. Sucks. Oh. So I'm gonna get rid of his. I'm gonna get rid of his plus alpha here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I'm not gonna get stuck on this for 80 plus times. No. But you can see how this checks up a lot of players. Oh my gosh. Especially because once they died, they go in trying to solo it because they don't want to use an effigy. Yeah. And keep going, guys. And even when they do try to bring in the NPCs, or whatever, they try to fight everything on the way here, and the NPCs fucking die. Yeah. You know, the best yeah. way to do it is some of the SP NPCs just run. Yeah. See, I'm satisfied with how I've been doing it this game, in that I let you get fucked up once or twice, and then I turn <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> I let you get your shit wrecked for a couple minutes before I go ahead and tell you what to do. And there you go. That's what you get. Alright. Alright, there's nothing, there's no items in this area. I'll say it. No, and this... Which way is the back way? The way you're, you're, you're at? Yeah, there's a bunch of water down there. Yeah. Which is, would just suck for a three-on-one. Guys, thank y'all so... You're already fucking gone. Nonetheless, thank you so, so much. Holy fuck. And there's... That, that item that we one don't know. item. That one elusive item. And you're just like... Fuck. Eh. Who cares? No, that fight only got you 45,000 souls. Oh, flower... Flower skirt. Are we going full tree hugger here? Is that, what, is that what we're doing here? Damn right. Where is it? It'd be in your legs. Oh, is that... Oh, I was thinking... For some reason, I was thinking top. Fucking tard. Flower it's skirt. It's a skirt, not a dress. Skirt of a nameless troubadour. Hide your ability despite its appearance. While troubadours can get by on their own through wily use of their arts for the most part, they might still require a generous patron. The stunning arrangement of layered flowers on this skirt is designed to capture the attention of a candidate for the position. So I was like, so basically, a troop. And what the fuck is down there? It's just, it, oh, I guess drop down, okay. Heidi ho Back in the shore of the Sanctum City. Wait, that was it? Yeah. It was simply... It, they guarded a skirt. Yeah. I did all that for a skirt. Yeah. Worth it! Okay. I thought you were going to put it on for a second. Oh, I am. 
I'm totally going to. I totally am, 100%. I just wanted to feather out real quick. Doing that fight without NPCs, ooh. Ooh. Alright, so now we're done with Sunken King. We finished the one. Sunken King is over. Seriously, how are you supposed to do that without NP? I guess I don't have to ask that question. But I'll, I was thinking, you know, go through the whole game. Eh, no summons, new game plus. Yeah, we can, well, I'm going to do the new game plus. Just off camera, like I said. Spend because... uh, two hours running in a circle, getting the occasional hit off. Is the only thing I can come up with. I mean, that fight is like... I'll bet they are. I'll bet they give in to like all status effects. Like if you have a status effect sword or whatever, I'm sure all of the status effects work on them. The question is getting in enough hits to, make to build the yeah. meter and actually do that. That's the big question. So okay, so that is that is one of three DLCs, and there are only four areas left. Mm -hmm. Cool. Where to next, Maestro? All right, so uh, what do you want to do first? The um, we gotta save Fume Knight for last. We've gotta save him for last. I feel like the, after all the build-up, Fume well, Knight's, Fume Knight's not gonna be the. I mean, obviously Fume Knight's not gonna be the last boss in this game that you fight. I didn't think he was. Yeah. Um. I mean, even removing the rest of that DLC out. Wow. Okay, that was bullshit game. Fucking fuck you. The game. The, literally, the game froze and a meteor just fell on my face. Whatever, bullshit. Ow! Um, I got 86 points. Wow, cool. Fuck you. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> I I normally get, like, a, at least over a thousand. Got yeah, 86. yeah. Fuck this game. But, no, um... This is fucking bad. Uh, yeah, so, we're completely remember the rest of that DLC out. Which, the... Last boss we got fighting that DLC is debatably the coolest boss in this game. So it's Fume Knight and then the Battle of Armies. I'm gonna call it the Battle of Armies for now because it's a five on five. Well, no, that well, all right. So the Fume Knight is technically, uh, well, the the Fume Knight is in the Iron King DLC. Okay. Battle of the 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 Army one is the Ivory King. DLC. Oh, they're two different DLCs. They are two different DLCs. Um. Okay. But there is another fight in the Iron King DLC that we're going to do after. Because you, know, you have to kill Fume Knight before you can get access to this other one. Okay. Um, so technically, I guess you could say the other one's the last boss, but I don't consider it that because it's optional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because I guess the DLCs are really optional, I guess. But, uh, They're all optional. Yeah, but you it, you get the crown after Fume Knight. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So, yeah. But, completely removing that, we still have the Ancient Dragon and the Dark Lurker in the base game. That you're probably gonna save until after the DLCs anyway. You and you told me to wait on them as well. Yeah. You told I, me to I wait find, on them. I find the Dark Lurker significantly easier if I wait until after the DLCs to do it. Yeah. Um and the areas to get to them in the first place that I find easier. But uh Ancient Dragon, yeah, the Ancient Dragon should be the last boss you fight in this game because it's hard as dick. Um well, yeah. Well, in that case, um, well, Fume Knight's a huge build-up for you. You really give a shit about Fume Knight. So let's do Ivory King? Let's do Ivory King. Ivory King, alright, so Fume Knight is awesome. He's... You, ha you have one, one minute, 15 seconds to fanboy. one of my favorite bosses in this game. Um, I, my favorite is between him and the army one. Um, okay. But Fume Knight's definitely but Fume harder. Fume Knight's definitely harder. Okay. Uh, the Iron King DLC as a whole is definitely harder. It's significantly harder. Oh, that DLC is gonna kick my That shit DLC in. is the hardest thing in this game. Um. So, so that DLC and then the Fume Knight, although he's not the very last boss in the DLC, that DLC plus the Fume Knight, that's hard. It's hard. Okay. Um, but, as in terms of actual DLC, the Ivory King is probably my favorite. Uh, I like snow shit. And people have bitched about that area so much online. Apparently, it is the most hated area. Even beyond Black Gulch in this game. Uh, Black Gulch, as for what I've seen, Black Gulch is even in second place. Um, second place would be Shrine of Amana. Shrine of Amana was hard. Yeah, I had. Not I, gonna I, lie. So everyone bitches about the frozen outskirts. I've never done it. I have never had a single problem with the frozen outskirts. Well, we will find out next episode. Guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. 
If you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. If you really like to be sure to share with a friend, subscribe, and join the freaks! I love you, and God bless.